Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to go over paragraphs. Um, paragraphs are quite easily and often overlooked in web pages, yet they could be one of the most uh, frequently used elements out there. So I'd like you to use paragraphs more. And you're going to use paragraphs in areas where you're going to have text. And it doesn't have to be a lot of text. It can even be very little text. But if the text is not a heading, if it's not a hyperlink or navigation, if it's not a fig caption, if it's not you know a label for, for an image, if it's not a list, very likely it's a paragraph. There aren't really a lot of elements to mark up text, uh, to identify text, you know, headings, paragraphs, lists anchors, that kind of thing. But a lot of text on a page should be a paragraph. Um, before I look at my page here, let's look at this page over on um, Google. It's their, Ad, one of their AdSense page. And I've got the uh, Firebug Inspect element turned on. And this is obviously not a text-heavy page. we got a little couple paragraphs down there, and there's a few little paragraphs down here at the bottom. But I just wanted to illustrate that these are marked up as paragraphs. Of course, the, the bold text up here is a, is a heading. They've got it as a heading one. But right beneath it, and you can see down in the lower portion of the screen, highlighted in blue, this is simply marked up as a paragraph within this div. So there's one paragraph and two paragraphs. Um, this is a, a hyperlink, the button. I could easily see this being put inside of a paragraph, but they didn't do that. And down here, a little bit lower on the page, they've got these text snippets, which basically describe each of these four categories. And these are all individual paragraphs. So very simple, small amounts of text, but marked up appropriately as paragraphs. And of course, this is a paragraph. So don't think that you have to use paragraphs only when there's lots of text. Use it even for small amounts of text. So on my little demo blue page here, I've got sections with bigger paragraphs. And um, I've got sections with very small paragraphs. And the subtitle for my page is actually a paragraph. And then it's up to you to use styles to style them differently, depending on how you want them to look on the page. On my code, you can kind of see it's very easy to, to figure out here. There's a simple paragraph within my header after my headline 1. One of my sections has a very short paragraph with just a few words in it. And then I've got a couple other sections with uh, multiple paragraphs and longer paragraphs. So mark those up. Sometimes if you're looking at other uh, source code, other pages, you might see that the developer didn't use closing paragraph tags. It can work in practically all situations without a closing paragraph tag, but I'm going to encourage you to include your closing paragraph tags. It's a nice visual aid marking up that this paragraph starts at one point and then stops at another point before proceeding. So let's just keep that in mind, start and stop the paragraphs. And I'm just going to do a little bit of basic styling here with these paragraphs. So I might indicate that a, uh, a paragraph within a section, okay? So this is a descendant selector, paragraphs within sections. Uh, I might go ahead and use the uh, font family Verdana. And I'm also going to do a text indent text indent of about two M's. That's the width of two capital letter M's. So I'll go ahead and save that, jump over to my browser and refresh. And you can see now that just as expected, my paragraphs have a first line indentation. So that could be something to do with paragraphs. And fortunately, my subtitle, since it was not within a section, doesn't have that effect, which I didn't want it to have. Now we can see that, ah, gee, maybe I don't want this short paragraph to have it. Well, this is where classes come into play, and you can classify some paragraphs as being special. So, for instance, a paragraph being this short might have a very specific purpose. It could be classified, perhaps, as a uh, product description, if that was its purpose. Very similar, the paragraph up in my header for my subtitle could be a class subtitle. So I'm uniquely identifying, classifying these particular paragraphs as, as something something different. They should be treated differently than regular paragraphs. So now that I've got those, then I would head back up to my um, CSS and paragraphs that are product descriptions 
would have a text indent of zero M's, negating the previous CSS rule. So I can take that indentation away. If I head back over to my browser and refresh, now this paragraph has no indentation, whereas my other paragraphs still have the indentation. And of course, similarly, you can format your subtitle paragraph. So play around with these paragraphs and just check out different styling that you can use. Subtitle, letter spacing, I'll do two M's again. And you can start to change how these paragraphs look. And by styling them differently, you'll be less tempted to not use the paragraph. So some people might use a heading instead of a paragraph inappropriately. So use those, pa those paragraph elements.